Hey everyone, so it's our first day here in Yekaterinburg. It is cold. It is chilly. <laughs> Woo! So we had um, we had two flights yesterday and arrived local time at about 5.30 a.m. And uh, we checked in, went straight to bed, had a few hours sleep. And uh, now we're just wandering around for a few hours, checking out the city. Get our bearings. Get our bearings. Get used to the cold. <laughs> Get used to the chilly. As you can see, Kirsty's gone full. Kenny. <laughs> I cannot cope. Kenny from South Park on us. Um, I care. Yeah, having a little bit of a wonder today, scope things out, find out what there is to do, and uh, and then take it from there, do some planning to arrange some stuff tomorrow. Get some more exciting things. When you finally get yourself out of the office and, find and the away from keyboard. a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it is covered in snow and ice. But there's a giant <laughs> keyboard underneath that ice. It's a monument um, along the banks of the river in Yekaterinburg to the QWERTY keyboard. But yeah. It does give you an idea of how cold it is here. <laughs> a giant keyboard. It's frozen over and we can't even see it. Somebody scraped over the enter. Cheerly. It's because we're not supposed to be doing any work. We're not supposed to see a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Cover it up. Yay. <laughs> Put it away. Out of office. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny bit further down the river, they've got a monument to the Beatles, believe it or not. The love you take is equal to the love you make. Something that I think is really great is that here in Ekaterinburg they have this red line. You see it down there? It goes all the way around the city. It's a five kilometer line and it takes you through all the main tourist attractions. So if like us, you turn up and you don't have any Wi-Fi and you don't know where you're going, just follow this little red line and it loops back. All cities should have this, don't you think? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> so we're currently redlining it. Found our uh, way back to the red line! <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy again! <laughs> Along the red line to uh, the skyscraper, which hopefully has, we've heard, has a free view at the top, maybe with uh, a Ooh. coffee and some food. So which would be nice. We'll get warm again and have a coffee. See the city. Just for the sunset. We've and not get run over on route. Sunset. Green light. Oh, glad you looked. See you at the top. <laughs> Now for dessert, and 
here's my three chocolate cake. Apple roll spritz. Kirsty's Bellini. Green Bellini. Green Bellini. <laughs> That's different. And Kirsty's Red Velvet. Yeah. We'll candle it. <laughs> With that view. Cheers. So we just had an absolutely delightful dinner at the uh, Vysotsky Business Centre building, which is the skyscraper in the middle of Ekaterinburg, um, up on the 51st, 51st floor. Um, the views are unbelievable, so you can see across the city and beyond, so you can see the Ural Mountains on the skyline as well. And uh, I had chicken noodles and Kirsty had... Um, vegetarian tomato and basil pasta and then we had dessert each which was delicious I had cake, very good, chocolate cake we had a couple of cocktails, a couple of coffees and the entire bill came to £25 unbelievable for the location yeah for, yeah. for us in the UK not a lot for all of that especially given the location being so central and being a skyscraper just get some uh, good decent meal inside of us but if you're in Yekaterinburg highly recommend it it's so affordable um, you go up there and it does feel very uh, premium but uh, yeah dress smart we weren't quite prepared <laughs> for that we were just there like in our, uh, our walking boots and luckily we had we had you know semi smart jeans on lots of that but still we were okay it was passable <laughs> yeah yeah we were passable yeah. yeah but yeah if you come you know, you know. <laughs> definitely try it Bashoyam. Metro. Yeah. And on tour guys, Pavel. Hey Pavel. <laughs> see them but these guys just about here are playing football with a snowball and the sign right here over my left shoulder says don't go on the ice crazy <laughs> heading home now for a well-deserved rest and yeah just as a side note we were told how safe it is here and we feel safe here it's really nice walking around and it just makes life so easy yeah. occasionally the line fades but it's okay it's easy enough to pick it up again so um, we're going to try and do the full tour of it uh, maybe tomorrow so we'll try and get more an update and take in some more of the sites along that route because we've only done obviously just a tiny bit of it today really just through the park and uh, to the first sort of skyscraper building with views just to get a snapshot we've only had the afternoon here really. only had this afternoon 
and this was only yeah. supposed to be a light walk yeah. but you can also see there's all these nice restaurants and bars and things in Yekaterinburg to go to and also it's about a half an hour walk from the uh, where we've just been in the uh, on the 51st floor it's um, it's called Vertical Restaurant and uh, we've got to know our way around a little bit but it's about half an hour walk back to our hostel and I'm using this as a landmark the Summit Business Centre it's really helpful to find our way home because it's literally about 100 metres from our hostel so it's very very useful highly recommend using things like that if you're staying in a city um, that you don't know very well uh, look out for landmarks like that but we will keep you posted and uh, see you on the next video bye